In this video, I'm going to share with you the client view configuration options. Um, one thing to note is that projects can be created without sharing or with sharing. And this is the, the overall configuration here. You'll note here there's a default project settings and there's a couple things like here is a default setting and here's a default setting. That means when a new project is created, it inherits that setting but it can be toggled on and off at the project level. Most of what you're seeing on this screen here in the client view configuration, you'll get to this screen from the, the add-ons. Um, this is a, these are global capabilities that you turn on and off. So if I uh, uncheck this box, for example, then you can't assign tasks to, uh, or any work items other than approvals to an, um, a client. You can always send an approval to them, but you won't be able to put a client on a task unless this is turned on. Um, again, this is just the default setting. So if I have this off, I could create a project and it would start the project with this off, but um, I could turn it on on a specific project. So normally this is just on because if, if you don't assign anything to a client, it won't get routed to them anyway. So we usually leave this on and uh, the second one here is whether this is always this is default on as well, whether or not you can even share project summary views at all. So as an admin, you, if I turn this off, you're not going to let them see a project summary at all. And usually this is on because on a project by project basis, you can decide to share the summary information or you can decide not to share the company summary information. And these are the choices within the summary information, what they could see. So if I turn issues off at the highest level here at the add-on level, then issues will never be shown on any project, no matter what. Same thing here with risks. I don't want to share any risks with my clients. That means a project manager can't turn this on at all at any level. Same thing here with files. If I turn files off, can't they can't be shared with on this? Uh, they can't be shared from the summary view with the uh, with the client. So the, that's what these are all here for. And this one here is the default setting for whether or not a project is going to be shared with a client or not. So this is just that default setting. If this is on, a new project gets it. If this is off, a new project is created with this off at the project level. Um, Another thing to note is a project won't be shared with a client unless you add them as a resource to the project. That's very important. So even though you might say, hey, I want to share this with my client, you, got, you do still need to assign the specific client users that you want to share that with on a project by project basis. And the reason for this is that just because you have a client doesn't mean they should see every project that you're doing for them. You may have a big client that has... Um, a couple uh, people that see a couple projects and then another team that sees another set of projects. This lets you uh, completely tailor which ones you're going to share with them and which ones you're not. And uh, there's another, this right here is the default settings for projects. So when a project is created, these are the default settings. And uh, I'll go through them right now. There is another video um, as well about this um, on this page, but uh these are global settings. I'll do it very briefly in this video, but these are the global settings. Enable clients to see all project status comments. That means that they can see all the status comments, uh, project status comments for the project. Same thing here. This means enable clients to see all the comments on uh, any other items like tasks. If you uncheck that, then they both, if they uncheck this, then there's a flag that's uh, presented on the um, on the comment that would allow you to share them with them or not. This view here lets you see if there's a project description, you'll share it with them. This right here, task settings, probably you're only going to choose one of these. You're going to, if you turn this on, they'll see the milestone tasks. If you turn this on, they'll see a list of top level summary tasks. If you turn this one on, they'll see a list of completed tasks. Same thing here. If I'm going to share issues on this project, I can check that box. I can say I want to share all issues or if I turn this off, then you have to flag issues you want them to see. Same thing here with risks. I can enable risks on and off at a pro on a specific project. And 
Otherwise, uh, and same thing here, I can let them see all the risks or like this on all the risks, or if it's disabled, they have to, you have to flag the risks you're gonna share with them. And then down here on the files, yes or no, I'm gonna share files with them. If I, this one has an extra option. If I sh share file, if I let them see all the files, they can just see them. Other, if this is off, they can only see files that are made visible. But we have this other last option that means that any new files are automatically visible you can toggle that on or off. So this lets you like automatically share most of your files, but you can turn it off if you want. That's what that flag is for. But this, these are the different settings. Um, these ones are the default settings. And then on every project, you can actually go and set these settings specifically. I'll show you where that goes by just navigating here to get to the specific settings for projects. Go to the project options. You'll see your client options up here if I want to use the default leave this unchecked now if I say hey I want to use my own settings the default was copied in and now I can actually configure it just for this project here so when you turn this back off now I'm looking at just the, uh, the I'm going to use the default ones when I toggle this on now I have my own view settings for this project specifically